See you there. He's doing them up. Some of these sort of um, that height. Think that'd be all right? Aye, massive. That height. But the bottoms, I mean, they'll be slightly lower than that because we'll take these bits off. Yeah. What we're doing here is new tenants have come into the plot next to us and the previous tenant had left all these boxes um, <coughs> and the lady needs to get rid of them. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, we've taken three off our hands and Kenny's going to make a big planter. He's going to stack three on top of each other and take the bottoms out of the top two and we're going to put some plants in it. I hope we don't get into trouble when the little council man from the, the allotments man from the council comes by because this path is actually outside of our plot. That's our plot going into there. Well, they can make that out. And this is the path that runs down the side of them all. But we just thought it'd be nice to get some Clematises or something. Clematai. Clematai. <laughs> Growing up these fences just to make it look pretty. Um, and they're not in anybody's way. What are you going to do with that one then? I'm going to take that off that off and I'll take the two planks out and then that will just leave a like a frame that we can put on top of, of the one below it you know yeah and I'll, I'll bolt them together Sturdy boxes. Yeah, full of nails. So we'll put this bit back together.
Right, lovely. There was a talk of the allotment when this this previous guy um, started bringing all these big boxes in. They looked like rifle RPG boxes, rifle box and sporting glassways of some sort. So they're mega sturdy. They've got metal strapping around them and all sorts. Anyway, that's the first one done. Second one shouldn't be so difficult, hopefully. And then. Um, and that's all we need to do, the two, because the one on the bottom must stay the same. Well, now that we've got this technique, it should be a bit easier to do the next one. Yeah. And it's a nice cool day today. Bit of sea fog over the hill behind us. Um, a nasty foam in there, we're getting that out as well. It's soaking wet though. Don't want to touch it. I'll get me a nice glove to wet. Right, okay, so there we go, look at that. So that'll go on top of the one below it and we'll fix it on. It'll just be a nice planter. Nice. Yeah, should be good. You can go shopping for some plants. The only thing is, there's a wee gap there. You can maybe make this one the very top one. Okay, so that's both the top boxes hollowed out so that they're literally. We've got no bottom in them. And Kenny's now going to drill the bottom, the base of the the very bottom box for drainage, because you yeah, obviously need drainage. I just drill random holes all over, really. There you go, that's the holes drilled in. It's actually really good because this box has already got these um, planks on the bottom that are going to raise the base of it up off the ground. If it wasn't raised up off the ground, you might have a problem with drainage. Um, but as it is, that should work perfectly. So now can you be turning that over, piling the other two on top and find a way to fix them together. Slightly longer. Okay, well, we could just fix that on that end. Where's the other one? Wrong way around. They're the same size, these two. Yeah, it was a different type. So what do you think? Yeah, I think that's going to be perfect. I've just, I, I bolt them together just with some wood in the inside. Yeah, good idea. Go. I'll show you on the inside, Kenny has attached these pieces of wood all the way along two there and two there. That's to hold all three boxes together and that'll work just fine. Rough and ready. It's rough and ready all right. opposite our little allotment gate. I think I'll put these weeds out underneath it. Yeah, that would be an idea. It's going to make a nice level platform for the box to stand on because it uh, slopes up a bit at that fence there.
So we need to put some uh, drainage in the bottom just to help it stop getting waterlogged. I might just scrounge up a bunch of stones there just from around the path. I'm just going to tip them in the bottom now. days later Kenny's managed to fill the whole trough with topsoil there's an area right at the end of our allotments where originally there used to be houses here years and years and years ago and that was where their gardens were and their compost heap was so although it's just high with weeds if you dig about you can find all this quite good topsoil there and um, so he's been digging that out over the last couple of days and sieving it down and the trough's now full I'm gonna get some compost and dig that in. I haven't got any special stuff from B and Q garden centre or whatever to dig in, but I'm just gonna dig some compost in, enrich the soil. And I've been up yesterday and got these. So I've got a nice clematis, nice purple flowers. And that grows to three meters. And I've got a climbing rose, just white flowers. Quite nice, they're those cottagey kind. Uh, and that is, I can't remember what it says, it gets very tall that one anyway. So hopefully we'll get the whole of this rather ugly fence all covered with nice foliage. Um, next year it should start to look pretty nice and within a couple of years we'll have a good, uh, a good little show on there. Right, so I'm going to get the compost now and get this soil sorted out. Still in it. Why she makes it look like this, though? So my plan is to put the clematis this side and the rose that side because there's a water tap there and I'm thinking if the rose did grow that far across if somebody gets their finger pricked by a rose thorn or their jumper caught they might not be very happy so keep the rose across at the other side. That's got quite nice roots on there. That's quite good. That's good. It's gone in nicely. Just going to try and Dip angle it, it over that way around. a bit. Yeah. That should do it nicely. Maybe I'll pop the trowel. These are going to be pretty much in full sun all day 
uh, the position they're in uh, down that way is south. And the clematis like to have their feet in the shade and their head in the sun. So I think that'd be fine for them. They're not going to be in the shade. The rose might shade the roots of the clematis a little bit, we'll see. Big one, that. It's in that way. Can you get that tree through? I don't know how you can get in there. Oh, that must be out of the compost. Yeah, there's still some big bits in there, to be honest. Bit dry, that. Should have watered it. It's not deep enough, is it? I want to get some of the compost in. I'm just going to go and get a bit more compost to put around it. There we go. What do you think? Just made out of some bits of old junk lying around. Uh, I mean, it doesn't look much at the minute, but I think it's going to look lovely when they grow up next year and the year after. Very pleased with it. Not a very good day to do it, and it's drizzling down now. Uh, it's like a sea, Mr. Sea Har, they call it. Uh, so I'll give them a water, and then that's them done. Another little job done.